Hi guys, my name is Jeff Rojas, and if you've ever seen my work, then you know that I love dark, moody, and dramatic black and white images. About a year ago, I released a video on how I was able to create black and white images in Adobe Lightroom, and a couple of you requested that I recreate that in Capture One. So here we go. While I'd love to say that every photograph is going to look amazing in black and white, I think it's important to note that the foundation for any great black and white image starts with great lighting. Most of my images rely on simple lighting techniques with fairly soft forms of light. For instance, the image that we're converting today was taken with a fairly large parabolic softbox. Because of the sheer size of that specific modifier and the quality of light that it produces, I don't have any harsh shadows in my image. This is going to allow me great flexibility to add contrast in post-production as I see fit. Secondly, it's also important to note that much like anything else in photography, the way that you tone and color images will solely depend on your eye. As such, I'm giving you my perspective on converting images to black and white. This specific image was taken with a Mamiya 645 with a Phase 1 IQ 180 back, a camera combination with 12.5 stops of dynamic range. So enabling black and white is going to start me off with a fairly flat and even image. Needless to say, this is far from dramatic and pretty uninteresting. Looking at the histogram, I can see that most of the image is shifted over to the left-hand side of my image, but I'm still a short ways away from clipping my black point. On the other hand, I have a lot of wiggle room with my white point in the image. I'm going to begin by slightly underexposing my image. My goal at this point is to expose for my subject's physique and then add contrast to really bring out his abs in this specific shot. To do that, we're going to increase the overall contrast in the image so that we have much more of a defined separation between highlights and shadows. At this point, I'm relatively happy with his physique, but the background and shadow areas of the image are definitely underexposed and far from flattering. So I'm going to use the High Dynamic Range tool in order to recover the shadow areas of the image. From here, I'm going to add a subtle bit of clarity to the image, which is going to add contrast to the mid-tones of the image. This is going to emphasize all those small details, like the pattern in his jeans, his watch, or even his skin. Finally, I'm going to bring up the yellow channel slightly in order to illuminate more of the areas hit by light in my image. From here, I'd start retouching the image, removing unwanted blemishes, stray hairs, etc. Short, sweet, and to the point. With that, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel for more videos like these. Until next time, you guys have an amazing day.